Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're doing a comparison video between Virginia Artisan from Virginia, Delish Iceland Pure from Iceland, and Crystal Lake from Pennsylvania Water. So you're probably wondering, why am I doing three bottles? Normally I do two. And why am I doing these three? Uh, no like normally in my comparison videos, I look for similar bottles that have something in common. These three really have nothing in common at all. At all. Um, so what's going on here? Well, the answer is, this is the final comparison video for round one. This is the 30th comparison video I've done. And so after this, we're going to move on to round two and we're going to start comparing winners. So I'm doing three because I, these are just the three I've left and it's just an odd number. So let's, here we go. Virginia Artisan is from Whole Foods. It's kind of a, a, an expensive brand. On their website they describe artisan water as being from the source. By definition, artisan water comes from the source deep within the earth protected by layers of clay and rock. There's no opening, not even a porthole to the surface. As a result, the water never comes into contact with the air, protecting it from the environmental pollutions and other contaminants. So that's Virginia Artisan. Um, I don't really like the bottle, actually. There's, there's, there's words here, but they're really hard to see, uh, just because they're really... I guess they use light ink, and it's a clear background. It's just really hard to see the words. That's really all I have to say about this Virginia Artisan. Delish. This is from Iceland. I've noticed a pattern with Iceland bottles. See, there's a squared off side. It seems like all the bottles of water from Iceland have a squared off side. Here's a Glacier Isle from Iceland. It's got a squared off side also. I did uh, Icelandic Glacial also, which had a squared off side. Apparently people in Iceland really love um, their water to have a squared off side for the bottles. Another thing it says is it's got a pH level of 8.88, which is good. It's not acidic. So uh, I like having a uh, high pH like that. There's not really much else to say. They have a picture of ice on it. I guess because it's from Iceland. Crystal Lake. This is from Rite Aid. Uh, also, this is... This delish water is from Walgreens. The Crystal Lake bottle is from Rite Aid. It's a pretty cheap, cheap bottle. I don't remember exactly, but it's pretty cheap. Um... The only thing that really sticks out is it's got a lid that you suck on, not a twist-off lid. Also another plastic thing protecting it. Seems like these suction lids were a lot more popular, uh, you know, in the 90s. Um, but now, if you want a suction lid, normally you buy a separate bottle and they, they you can refill and, and clean. Um, so it seems like these have become less popular over time. I guess maybe another reason is because these are more expensive to make and they use more plastic. Maybe that's another reason they've become less popular. It says it's from Pennsylvania. It says it's spring water. Not really much else to say about it. So let's just um, let's get started. Let's open it up and do a comparison video. These two have uh, almost identical lids. Just they're different colors. Start with Virginia Artisan. Here we go. This water feels a little heavier for some reason. Um, 
Um, Sounds like a zesty. I would I would describe it as like a zesty flavor to it. This is kind of weird for water, but that's what I would describe it as. Let's try Big Lake. Oh my God! This is awful. Oh, he crap. Oh, my God. This has, like, the strongest chemically taste. Oh, my goodness. I don't even want to fi finish this. This tastes awful. If I wasn't recording a video right now, I would just I would not finish this. This is really bad. Uh, maybe just let me be clear. One of these is moving on to the next round. Not... <laughs> Not uh, Crystal Lake. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to chug it just to get it done with. This is really bad. <laughs> this is the first time I've had Crystal Lake. I, I don't know. This is really bad. Oh. <sighs> What happened to this water? Ugh. It's from Pennsylvania. Ugh. It says it's spring water. Maybe like a fish peed in this water right before it went in the bottle or something. This is really bad. I'm not, I'm not even like exaggerating. This is really bad water. If I was doing a list of the worst, this, you know, I did, um, canned water, which is really, really awful. It tasted like metal, and, um, I did pouched water, which is really awful. I think this and the pouched water would probably tie for worst I've done so far. This is really awful water. I thought maybe it was just the lid, but it was just as bad without it. Or maybe like I'm thinking, why? Why is this as bad? Maybe, maybe it was sitting in the sun, and the plastic went into the water. Like, was it sitting in the sun for a year? Maybe <laughs> this is really bad. Like, I almost want to recommend you getting this, just so you can experience how bad it is. Crystal Lake, jeez. Okay, I'm glad. I'm just glad that's done with. Oh. Anyone who says all bottled water, all bottled water is the same, just try this. Please try this, and then tell me it's the same. And this is, I, I live in this state. Like, I feel, I mean, I should support my own state. I should feel, say it feels, you know, tastes fine. I can't, though. This is awful water. I just, I can't even wrap my head around it. These are both good. Um, tastes like there's a, I mean, this has a higher pH level. I'm guessing this tastes like it has more, like, sort of minerals in it, um, which isn't really good or bad, but just different.
gonna say Delish. Delish is the winner. Delish is moving on to the next round. Congratulations, Delish. It just tastes more like um, it's more pure, and I, and I like that it has a higher pH level. And um, so, congrats, Delish. I also dislike that this label is so hard to read. I mean, the main reason is the, the, the taste, but I don't like this label either. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, get ready for round two. That's coming up soon.